So I got my new idler pulley in, and then I also got this guy. So this is the thumper tensioner. I know a lot of you guys were against me getting this for different reasons. I went back and forth for several weeks. I did like 10 hours of research. I talked to several different mechanics and I ultimately decided that for me specifically, this was the best way to go. Now all we've got to do is go get my pulley bridge, which is in my Buick, but I don't have the keys for my Buick. They're somewhere else. It's a long story. A lot's happened since I've been on here in the past two weeks. I'm gonna explain everything really quickly. So I'm on my way to my friend Darren's shop right now to get the keys for my Buick, which I don't have, which my pulley bridge is in the back of the Buick right now. So on top of everything with the Cobra, the Buick about a week ago, uh, my driver's side uh, rear window motor went out. I fixed that. My passenger side right rear window switch went out. That's still broke. And then all of a sudden, two days later, both, like not both, one of my blinkers went out. So uh, last Friday, I changed both blinkers and then in the middle of changing them, my blinkers just stopped clicking. And then the next day, last Saturday, I got up in the Buick to go film a wedding and um, it wouldn't start or anything. Here we have my pulley bridge. Check this thing out. It's powder coated black because I mean, they're all the same price and this one looked really nice. So this little nipple, you see this little guy? This is what broke off, this whole thing. So mine broke off like right, mine broke off like right there. You broke this whole freaking nipple off. How, who does that? Whose car does that? You know whose car does that? Jordan's car does that. This month I've had like four weddings and a bunch of smaller shoots. So I've just been insanely busy to the point where my brain hurts and I've been getting migraines. So that's one reason it's been hard to make car content. Also, both my cars have been broken. The Cobra broke, as you guys know, then the Buick broke. And so I haven't had a means of transportation. I'm driving my dad's S10 right now because I obviously need to get around to shoots and to videos. As far as the tensioner goes, I know that was like a center of controversy with you guys. Some of you wanted me to notch the stock tensioner. Some of you guys thought that I should get, I think it was the Roush tensioner. Uh, and not many of you guys said to get the thumper, but I ended up getting the thumper. I know everyone's gonna be pissed at me, but there are reasons for that. Number one, I don't want to mess with the Roush tensioner because it, it needs extra fittings to actually fit on an 03 Cobra and I I don't want to mess with that and it possibly be this aligned because I'm really busy and I wouldn't have a lot of time to put into that. So there's a, there's a huge chance that I would do it wrong. It seemed like possibly the best decision for me would be to get another stock tensioner and just notch it. But I'm the guy that breaks everything all the time for no reason and it's just it's just my luck. Like my Buick broke six parts over like a I week. I like to be more safe than sorry and I think the Thumber was the best way to go. I talked to the owner, the guy that built the Thumbers. He was really, really, really nice. He had a lot of good advice to give me. The creator of the Thumber Tensioner really, really helped me out a lot. Talking to him, he basically explained that a lot of people reach out to him on a monthly basis breaking their stock tensioners on the 0304 Cobras, and some people even reach out to him breaking the uh, Roush tensioner that is fitted to the Cobras that some of you guys are advising me to get. The issue is that these are usually like older guys that call him that don't have YouTube channels or Instagrams or anything. So this actually is happening quite a bit. It's just the people that it's happening to, they don't have social media accounts, so it's not really getting out there. So it is more of a widespread problem than it seems. There's just no content on YouTube about all this. Your bike, <laughs> go, 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 turn right, turn right, turn right. Go, 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 So I wanted to compare the stock tensioner and the thickness <laughs> broke the same way as the last one to this thumper tensioner. So here's the, here's the stock thickness and here's the thumper. It's quite a bit thicker. One of the issues of this stock tensioner 
is it has like these little rivets so there's not an actual a lot of material right here like it's literally very thin and then it's just it's just not it's not it's not very strong and then you got this guy much thicker no plastic <laughs> So one of the things that we think caused the uh, pulley bridge to break is the bolt that is supplied. <laughs> There's a washer. <laughs> the, the bolt that, that comes with uh, most pulleys is shorter. That's the one that comes with it. And on on this piece, what we're thinking might have happened is the little part of the nipple there that comes out. Focus. The little part that comes out. We're thinking maybe the tensioner created a little bit of pulling out tension, and they just. The bolt wasn't long enough to keep it drilled in there, so so slightly slightly longer bolt might might keep that from happening again. Also, look at this; it's really nice. Looks looks like uh, lots of shiny things for for a beat up car. It doesn't it doesn't seem like it fits. <laughs> There was like one more pulley where the bolt was literally threading in like the actual thread that went to the end was like just that last little tip so just that last little tip is like fully going into the structure of the pulley bridge just that last little bit so we want to go get one that's just slightly longer just to make sure that i don't have any problems in the future so i went to lowe's and talked to a guy named james and they don't have any bolts they're out of bolts go brandon it's probably why we have no bolts i'm just kidding but uh he gave me this. This is the fittings that we will need, somewhere between M8, um, 1.25, 40 millimeter to 50 millimeter. His name was James. I just want to say thank you, James. So I wasn't actually able to find a bolt. It's the next day we found a place that special ordered it, and I've been driving around trying to figure out where this place is at. Finally found out that it's in Mount Holly, North Carolina. So we're heading there right now to get our custom bolt from a guy named James. Ironic because the guy that helped me at Lowe's also named James. The guy's working on my car also named James. Just a bunch of dudes named James helping a dude named Jordan today. So the Cobra is basically fixed, but there's one issue now. Um, we fixed all the pulleys, got the one new pulley, but it turns out that one of the lower pulleys got so hard, like hit so hard by the tensioner pulley that it, that it messed up the bearing inside the pulley. So one of my, another one of my double bearing pulleys has messed up double bearings now. So I'm gonna have to get another pulley sometime in the soon future. I don't like, they told me that it squills kind of loud when you start it, but then calms down and I'm kind of like nervous about how loud that squilling is gonna be. But here, here we go. <laughs> That's not terrible, man. It's just been it's been a, it's been a rough day. So earlier, Darren, my other mechanic who does like mostly normal car stuff, called me about the Buick and said, "Man, this thing almost caught on fire." And I was like, "What?" So my Buick, my daily driver, something's causing uh, enough electricity to go to the fuse box where it's almost catching the fuse box on fire. And the reason the Buick has all these problems of it not starting and the windows randomly stopping working and just all the problems I've been having with the Buick in the past couple weeks is something's been like sending so much electricity to the fuse box that it's almost caught on fire, which is, it's probably the, the BCM, but this is, this is just, it's getting kind of draining. I have both cars that are having big issues that are expensive and take time. So, hey, at least I'm vlogging with you guys again. We're fixing the problems. One thing I like to tell a lot of friends of mine, like a lot of friends of mine will just like, if they have car problems, they'll just sell their cars and get other cars. But like, I'm the guy, I like to try to stay with it and, and fix it. Welcome my to my humble balcony. So I'm trying to get my hands on another pulley. That's all I need. Get the GoPro running again and get the, the whole process of vlogs going again. But that's it. it, it's running, we fixed it. We just need another 90 millimeter pulley. Then the Cobra's gonna be good for a bit. And the next thing we're probably gonna do is a, um, a short throw shifter, the MGW race shifter is what I'm looking at. And I've got some content for you guys, hopefully coming up in November. 
of a pro drifter that is coming down to Gastonia to film some content with us. Hopefully, that's the hope at least. Like if you enjoyed the video, comment if you have any questions or concerns. I know if some of you guys are just gonna be like, Jordan, you messed up. You did the wrong setup. You should have done this or do, done, I mean, I did what I did. It is what it is. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed for more content of me just going through the journey as a normal guy that doesn't know what he's doing with his car, but it's just, you know, learning as we go with you guys. And hopefully if you're new to the channel, you can watch all these videos and learn with me. And I know some people are gonna come across my videos and criticize me because you watch a video and sometimes don't figure out what the problem is because I was still figuring it out at that point in time. But if you watch all of my videos, you'll get to go through the whole process of learning how to, you know, fix the in and outs of a high mileage 0304 Cobra. See you guys next video. Much love. Every time I start my car, I get this feeling deep inside. It's like, stop interrupting.